Some friends of ours that had a gold wing and were just out enjoying the scenery and the open air, and, and I wanted to be a part of that. Good morning. I'm gonna be on the road again for a little bit today. Uh, have a little bit of a treat. If you follow the channel, a few weeks ago I was walking to my garage and I noticed a spider coming down the street and I did a double take. Spiders don't come down our street because I'm the only guy on the street that owns a spider. So it was uh, some friends of Miriam from long, long ago, some former neighbors, uh, Rick and Connie, and they had just purchased a uh, 2020 uh, Canem Spider RT. And we've been trying to connect so we can do go for a ride together. And of course, we were finishing up the uh, the trip for the Smoky Mountains, and we decided that we we're going to do it today. We're going to go over to the Eastern Shore. We've been there several times, uh, have some seafood, and just uh, get a chance to uh, just relax and just go for a short ride. And it's going to be a little chill today. T uh, temperatures probably not going to touch 70. Mm, that's when your layering comes in. So. Uh, Gonna be uh, getting layered up and heading over and meeting them at the foot of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel and go over there and have a nice seafood lunch. Alrighty, heading over to the Eastern Shore to eat some seafood. Have a change from a uh, mountain destination. Well, the route today is pretty straightforward. We're going to rendezvous with Rick and Connie, just off of Route 13, which crosses the Chesapeake Bear Bridge Tunnel, then follow it across up the eastern shore, then make a left turn heading over to Cape Charles. And our favorite little seafood restaurant, the Shanty. And an interesting note, the round trip toll for the Chesapeake Bear Bridge Tunnel will probably be more than our lunch bill, but no complaints. Oh, it feels so good to get some fresh air. Wind therapy. And we couldn't have asked for a more perfect day. Love this. Love, love, love this. Don't know that I've ever mentioned my sister Martha, but she unfortunately passed away at age 55 from melanoma several years ago. But she had this philosophy that you, in life you need to play as hard as you work. And I absolutely believe that she was so wise in that statement. And that's my goal. I'm not sure I hit, it, hit the mark most of the time, but uh, it sure feels like uh, like that's what we're doing today, playing as hard as we work. So it makes life enjoyable, balance, you know? Constantly striving for, for better balance. It's a great day to do anything. We arrived at Cape Charles and had ourselves a nice lunch out on the patio. And since the weather had turned mild, we, we took a walking tour through the small but quaint downtown Cape Charles. It's amazing how much this little town has changed in the past couple of years. And could not resist the photo op next to the pier. Since the day was still young and the weather had turned quite mild, we decided to venture up to Chatham Vineyards. <laughs>
wasn't an original idea, but it sure is a great thing for you. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hello. Right with you. Okay. Hey, Enjoy. Thanks. I'm the, I'm the odd couple here. The odd, the white. Be the first one. Well, we'll start with uh, the first question. What got you into spidering? But I got into spidering because of some friends of ours that had a gold wing and were just out enjoying the scenery and the open air and, and I wanted to be a part of that. And my wife said, I will not get on two wheels with you. <laughs> so I found three wheels. Perfect. And she said she would go and it works. It's been, it's been a blast. And how long has it been? Uh, since March. And this is March a- March of 2020. This is a what? And yeah. this is a 2020 RT. And, um, Beautiful machine. And we've enjoyed every minute on it so far. It's got lots of space for all my stuff I gotta take. Plenty of storage, <laughs> plenty of pickup, everything we need to um, we to, really to enjoy the outdoors like we like to. Have you had the people who will ogle over it and ask you questions yet? Have you had experienced that? We everybody seems to walk up in a parking lot. There's always somebody walking up and saying, um, you know, hey, what is this? And oh, I've been looking at this. And oh, how do you like this? There's always questions when we get, and uh, and every car that goes by, there's a head turning and looking at this thing. And we we have gotten honking to the horns and kids waving at us on the on the highway all the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so I think I'm more visible. I feel safer. Um, that, mm -hmm. that was a big factor for me also, mm -hmm. especially after taking the motorcycle safety course. Um, I was really glad about my purchase with this. Um, okay. I, I do feel more visible and a lot safer on the road, um, which is a big deal with the with bikes in general. Did you ride before? Not since, uh, it, it's been a long time. Uh, okay. I always rode two wheels growing up. We had two wheels, we had the three wheelers and stuff growing up, but um, you know, we hung that up when I, started working and, and then I started having children of my own never even thought about it and uh, now that the kids are gone and we're retired and we're spending a little more time um, just wanted to get out a little more and okay this is it we understand now what does your wife think about this we'll have to ask she, her yeah ask her she uh so inquiry minds want to know what do you think about the spider and riding on the back of it I like it because I know I'm not going to get dumped in the road. <laughs> and I can just have the freedom of just, it's fun to be out, you know, and be able to see and do. And um, so I like it. And, and I, this particular model has a lot of storage so I can carry all my stuff. <laughs> Where'd you get your trailer? <laughs> you, oh. You'll be able to haul well, lots of stuff. Well, that's another thing. Today when I was on this, because we're getting the, hopefully getting the thing uh -huh. on, I was thinking, where are we going to store the trailer? Well, you know, that's a, that's a big thing yeah. to store. Well, ours lives in the driveway in front of our Does garage. It, do you cover it or do you just... We have a cover. Got it, picked it up on Amazon. And we were originally going to stand it up in the garage. There's a kit. I saw that standing. Kit. However, the kit does not integrate into the 2019 trailer, which we have. So there's no way to make it stand up. So... Because I was thinking with that big long bar and everything, I'm like, to put it in the garage, that's going to take up, like, Trip over it. you know, it's going to take yeah. up one half of the garage with this yeah. and that. So that was my next thing was where we're going to store it. The, the spider's really proud of the can -Am's really proud of it. Because I trailer. have to have my stuff. <laughs> we all have to have our stuff. <laughs> it will definitely uh, open up a whole nother avenue of trips for us when we get it we oh yeah get longer weekends and stuff it'll be a whole different thing cross countries yes I'm yeah yep did you hear that cross country uh, yeah i heard <laughs> <laughs> so baby steps baby yeah, steps. 19 day trip across <laughs> baby, the country 19 steps, day trip back <laughs> i think i think she'll be on a plane with mary <laughs> <laughs> okay a, a massage every few days you'll be okay <laughs> I, I had to do that uh fort smith arkansas after riding that much my, uh, somebody stabbed me, it felt like oh, somebody stabbed me yeah, in the back between yeah. the shoulder blades. And there was a, a massage therapy place right 
uh, half a block away from the hotel I was staying at. So I went over there and got a massage. Like, oh yes. He tells me now when you're ready, when you're sitting back there with nothing to do, my shoulders can be done. <laughs> you can massage my shoulders and in the middle of my I back. I told her right here in the middle of the back. So he's already told me what my job is. I'm I'm, have you fallen asleep yet? No, but you know, I still use my phone. I'm still texting. I'm still got my drink with my drink. Yeah. You know, it's it's. Uh, you know, still got the comforts of being in a car. Yeah, she's almost falling asleep. I'm sitting there about, you know, here. I feel the helmet hit the back of my helmet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I have not. <laughs> when, okay. Well, when the up. guy sold us this and he put the arms on, he goes, you know, you can nap. You can't fall out. You got, yeah. you got, he goes, you got your husband in the front and you got the, the, Armrest on the side, so you can take a nap. And well, I'm gonna look to go to the high with your arms hanging out, living your head back. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> back. What can I say about today? Exquisite, exquisite. Ah. You know, it's a beautiful drive heading back across the Chesapeake Bearbridge Tunnel to the uh, south side. County and Rick are uh, up ahead because they have the easy pass, so I have to stop and pay the toll. They get the float right on through. It was great to have the seafood, meet at the shanty, and have a meal, and to talk, and get to know our new friends, and then stop at Chatham Vineyard, have a glass of wine, and uh, and repeat, and you know, and, and then the ride over. Yeah, the ride over was the objective. It's just so good to share the, the love of having the your face in the wind. Being outside, enjoying nature, we are so lucky. We are so lucky to have this opportunity to be able to do this and to have, have friends we can share it with. We are truly blessed. We are truly blessed.